What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now apologies for the audio. I don't have a microphone, but this just came out. So there is another lamina flow hood up for action at the University of Tennessee where I am right now. And I'm about to go check it out. Like you, if you go to the uh, Dovedale's website, yes. there's a search menu in there and you can search to see the items that sold and oh, how really? much they sold for. I'll, I'll have to look it up. Okay, so this, this is actually it's a lot more than I thought. It's actually, uh, I kind of like it now. I thought it was going to be like really big. Oh. Uh, but yeah, it's a nice one. So it's, a, do you know where it came from? Mm, Which lab? Not that I can think of. For my scientific looks. Oh, I'm not sure if it even said on here or not. Looks pretty all right. So the airflow comes from here. It says Dr. Menon's lab. Oh, it says that? So it talks about from this lab, so... Okay, I will look it up. Because sometimes it's... Uh, if I know the, the lab, I can probably get in contact to see if they, there is anything wrong with it. Because you, you guys don't have any idea if it's uh, anything no. on it. Uh, now, this will have to go one... As a one whole piece, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to see if it will fit on like a... Kind of like a standard elevator. Um, I think it will. I think it will fit. I mean, it's just like six and a half foot tall, maybe uh, four foot wide. Probably weighs about 500 pounds. So. Yeah, it uh, looks all right. Let's see the filter. Comes to here, here. Work is safety. Uh, does it have like an inspection? It does not. We look for. Uh, usually, a lot of these hoods, like this, this right here, I'm looking. So they have like a this. They have like the manufacturer, and they have like a, what the time when it was uh, inspected last this time. Stuff, this here. Oh, it has uh, something there. Yeah, it's got stuff down here. Oh, let's see. But it's not like that. Oh, no, this is just kind of there. Yeah, no, I don't think this has an inspection sheet. No. That's all right. Uh, power. Yeah, UV. Oh, yeah, filters come from here. Oh, what is there? Well, I, do, I should probably take a picture of this. For my scientific. It's also a couple tags that are probably the same as these that are on the back. On the back, probably. Put them up, up here. Yeah, most likely are the same. Okay. Yeah, it looks, looks good. I like it. I, it's like I told somebody that was like a, going to look at it to see if maybe we could we'll get it. I uh, say it was probably going to be too big because of the elevator limited space, but it doesn't look that big. Mm -hmm. So I think it actually may fit. On the picture, I thought it was much bigger. Actually, it's even look better than this one. This one is a lot older. Right. Yeah. It's like a... I've seen a lot of this to, to UT. Though. How often do you think you see one of these? Cabinets. The fume hoods in here? Like the, these fume hoods or like these biosafety cabinets. Because I, I think I should. I bet they probably come in here like, I don't know, four or five times a year. Four or five six. times. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite so, often. I think during the last few years I've seen. I got one. Most of them are usually bigger than this, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. These are small. Yeah, I got one and then I've seen at least like another five or six during the last couple of years. But I know, like, I'm not always on the website. It's like, a, it's like I just log in and then I. Kind of probably lucky that I found, found a couple of those but yeah. hey guys so I'm editing the video but during the last two weeks the University of Tennessee had five biosafety cabinets up for auction I guess one of the labs just got rid of all their uh, biosafety cabinets that they have but I mean they have five biosafety cabinets and the cheapest one sold they're all sold by now but the cheapest one sold for $41 and the most expensive one so for 56 that that's the one that i got which is the one on the video 
now the from the 56 you also have to add the taxes and the fees so that's how i got to like that 69 dollars number let's see the filter uh i think it still looks all right this is just a pre-filter looks clean yeah yeah, filter looks clean. Hood actually looks pretty good. It's a decent size. Um, so yeah, I like it. It's just like six foot and a half. Uh, it's like four foot wide, maybe like 50 inches wide. And it is like 40 inches deep or so. So not too bad. I think it will fit to an elevator or so. All right, sounds good. Well, all right guys so i won i won the auction uh for the um bio safety cabinet i end up paying a uh, 68 dollars which is a pretty good price um i the one i already have uh, cost me 36 so this one is 80 80 um no i'm sorry it's 68 so it's still pretty good uh, for a lamin uh, for a bio safety cabinet that actually there is one on ebay at the moment that is going for a, the, the same model that the one i use uh purchase for uh, 6500 dollars so big difference in price so now well i have the truck now i'm going to go pick up a trailer and then i'm going to go pick it up so let's go all right guys so he's in he's on the trailer so now let's take it take it home and i will see you there so it's now on the trailer it's fully strapped so i have two straps from the top one strap on the side, well, on the top, to goes on the all the way to the side. Now it does have security there, so it's good security there. It have one going from the side and one going from the other side, so it stays at the same place. It is right under the wheel, so that's good. Uh, it doesn't look, I don't know, as bad as I thought. I thought it was going to look like a really sketchy, but I think it looks all right. So now it's time to take it home. So I only live like three miles from the university. However, I do not have a space for the hood. So I had to take it uh, about an hour away to my parents' house. So for a temporary place. All right, we made it. Uh, we are not going to know them until tomorrow uh, until I get some more help. But looks pretty good. Uh, you can see now from the top, that's uh, an EPA filter. That's for the exhaust or for the biosafety cabinet. So it has two EPA filters one there and then one right there i will show you how, how it works tomorrow but um so yeah i want to unload it until tomorrow until i get more help because right now i just me and my dad and then i want to get my in-law to give us a, a hand uh, to get unload luckily i do have the pallet jack so it shouldn't be too difficult having a pellet jack was definitely the way to go it made uh, unloading uh, very quick and easy uh, so the next time I move the hood, I will definitely have to borrow uh, the pellet jack again. Okay, so the bio safety cabinet is finally here in place, a uh, temporary place for now until I get a, a new place uh, because my house doesn't fit. Now, is this the first time I want to plug it? Um, when you are purchasing something up for action, uh, it don't, you don't know if it is going to work or not and they also don't allow you to test it there so this is going to be the first time i'm going to plug it now this um, bio safety cabinet has two outlets or two i'm sorry two plugs and the reason for this is because one plug is for the actual for the cabinet for so for the blower and the lights and the other outlet is for the um for the receptacles that we have here now Ideally, you want to place one um, plug in one outlet that goes to uh, one circuit and the other one to a separate circuit. So they both will be on a separate breaker. Uh, so that way you can use um, tools or whatever that needs a, a high power or that you can like, a, uh, let's say you can place your arrow clay or something. Now you can still place both on the same outlet. The only thing is that you cannot play something that is going to have a lot of like a wattage so this one use like 1200 watts so uh, my gladius sterilizer is 150 watts so i'm still okay to plug these two on the same outlet and still use my gladius sterilizer so let's test it out so let's place one at a time 
Let's see what this one does. Okay, that's the blower. Seems to work. But I think that the blower is working. Let's try the lights. Lights are working. They're very yellow. I think I'm going to change them. I think I'm going to change for uh, some new uh, LED lights. They are doesn't look, look very bright. Now, this is the UV light, so don't look at, uh, uh, at the hood. Looks like I see something. Yeah, it works. Okay, good. So the blower works. Now, right now, if I try to plug something in here on the uh, receptacles, it's not going to work until I plug this one in. Place the other uh, plug to the outlet. And now I want to test um, just the receptacle to see if they work. So I have a receptacle here. And this is a GFCI, so it has uh, like the reset. And in case it gets trip, so right now, see, like reset. And I want to plug this in. And um, yep, they work. So this one works. Let's try the other one. It most likely want to work. Yeah, it works. Now let's try the other side. Look. Yep, it works. And the other one. Yeah, it works. So everything seems to work uh, nice. Uh, I want to do some tests uh, on like a sterilization test. So I want to make some like a, use um, some tissue cord or like a agar plates. I want to place it in the hood uh, with the blower on, see if they get contaminated, use uh, exposed open, see if they get contaminated. If they don't get contaminated, I mean, that's, that's a pretty good sign that it is still working. If not, I mean, I can tell it still works. I need to check how the uh, filters look like. They seem to be clean, but I need to, to check if they still, um, if there is anything like a damage or anything, but it doesn't seem like uh, it's been open. It seems like everything is being still sealed. Per looks perfectly fine. Uh, what I can do is I can come over here because I, I feel that the air coming from the, uh, from the main filter is not as strong. So what I can do is I can unscrew these two and there is a potentiometer here that I can adjust to increase the speed of the blower so I can get a little bit more air speed. So that's something I had to do on my laminar flow hood. I have a little bit of issues with contamination, which is maybe one of the reasons why they got rid of this one because I can tell the airflow is not as strong, but I can, I can, uh, uh, I can increase the speed of the blower in here. So that's what I'm going to do. And yeah, that's all. That's pretty much everything. Hope you have enjoyed it, and then I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying these Tissue Culture videos, be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content. And if you're interested in conducting your own Tissue Culture experiments, make sure to check us out at PlantCellTechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use the code FP10 for 10% off your first purchase.